Welcome on Chateau Zabiro in Czech Republic. Zabiro Chateau has stood on its hill between the Krivoklatske and Berdy forests since the 12th century, a beautiful thing, wistfully recalled in the famous melody by Václav Vacker, a memory of Zabiro. Until recently, memories of Zabiro were just about all anyone had, because the chateau and its many treasures and mysteries were strictly sealed off for most of the 20th century. The memory of its illustrious history is only resurfacing today. There is certainly plenty of room for mystery in this place. Zabiro Chateau is absolutely massive, as its owner, Yaroslav Pacha, described. This is the largest privately owned chateau in the Czech Republic, and one of the largest chateau in the country. I've never counted it up in square meters, but I can say we have some 228 rooms, it takes four and a half hours to open all the windows and four and a half hours to close them, so just airing out the rooms is an entire day's work for one person. Size is by no means the only superlative thing about it. With the oldest freestanding tower in Bohemia and the deepest well in Europe, Zabiro Chateau, the oldest aristocratic castle in the Czech Republic, sets several records for its grandeur and of course age, which stretches back to the year 1193. Since that time it has been owned by numerous people with lofty titles, but none loftier than Emperor. Markita Lorenkova, who works on exhibitions at Zabiro, told me why Zabiro bills itself as the castle of three emperors. One of the emperors was Charles IV, who was the most important king for all Czechs. After him the castle was owned by the Rosenberg dynasty, which was here for 100 years. In the 15th century the castle was bought by Sigmund of Luxembourg, the son of Charles IV and the second emperor of our castle. And the third was Rudolf II, who owned the castle in the 16th century. After Rudolf came the first of the chateau's claims to infamy, just after the history-changing Czech defeat at White Mountain in 1630. A Bohemian Protestant rebellion was crushed by the Austrians, and after the battle, the Czech Protestant lords were rounded up, and many were imprisoned in the dank dungeons at Zabiro. This prison was found by a worker who fell through a hole while they were laying pipes for the chateau. After that we found something like beds made of straw there. Here you can see hand shackles and there in the rock leg shackles. 